Hello and welcome back to Knuckles and Sonic 2 and here today is Cal who seems pretty eager to see me fail against the final boss it must be said. <laughs> oh that's gonna be something but yes I love this game, love Sonic 2 and the fact that Knuckles is there only makes it more interesting to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've played this particular variation of the game but you know. So, okay last time we made it up to Metropolis Zone which is one of the most notorious in Sonic 2. Yep. Indeed, amongst all the classics, has to be said. Yes, this has. Well, this zone in particular. Three acts as well. That uh, is a thing. I'm sorry, Kyle, can you turn your mic on a bit? I can't quite hear you that well. Ow. Okay, How about now? Any better? A little bit. So anyway, I was saying. Yeah, the music is great. Well, this is one of the most difficult in Sonic 2, and it's easily the longest, being the only one with three acts. It's quite difficult to get turned super here because it's so easy to lose your rings. Yeah. Especially with those particular enemies. But right, all the bad necks here are just pretty much designed to wipe the floor of you. But so all of them are extremely dangerous. Yeah. And we have the shell crackers. Enemy crabs who are vulnerable, resistant to attacks from the front. So you have to get behind them and attack their weak spot for massive damage. And I can't believe I just said that. Yes, that reference near me, but um, yeah, those sort of things are really annoying. The hitboxes are just there. Mm. Goodness. Yeah, you're uh, breaking up a bit. Can you turn your mic up a bit, Cal? Uh, I think it might be the internet connection. Something seems to be up. Okay, so I was saying, uh, this zone is my least favourite Bionix in pretty much Sonic history, it has to be said. Especially yeah, they, they're pretty terrible. Yeah, especially those mantises. Ah, oh, yes, throwing their arms like boomerangs. Uh, so of course you have the shell crackers. Yes. And the starfish ones as well. Goodness. And now we have super knocks. This will make things Excellent. a lot easier. I can hear you a lot better now. Must must have been Skype that was playing up. Yeah. Well, no matter. Ah, good old Super Knuckles. I do quite like how they managed to implement him into this game. Like I said, I'd completely forgotten that he was in, well, this version of Sonic 2. Yes. I thought he would have ended up just as another Tails. Quite, it's quite funny that um, Tails is basically hard mode in, in this game, where he's like easy mode in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. So he has like the only advantage he has in this game is that he's a little bit, a little bit smaller hitbox, but he can't turn Just, super yeah. or fly. Yeah, odd that they didn't actually implement his flying ability until three, but no yeah. well. And it's kind of his, his flight is kind of game breaking. Yeah. But it is really fun to play around with. Quite. Anyway, I do really like Super Knuckles, especially that Indeed. especially that really fast climbing ability he has. Hmm. Makes yes, I'd say it's second only to his um, well, hyper form in which <sighs> basically destroy anything by well going into a wall. But unfortunately, Hyper Knuckles isn't available here. But no. a 
pity. So I, I swear, Sonic Team are deliberately trolling the players with our enemy placement in this zone. Mm. Yeah, those, those the starfish ones especially are there just to screw you over. Uh, come on, Knuckles, grab up, climb on there. There we go. Yeah, it's quite hard to run anymore without getting that a shell crack in the face or or when those mantises throwing their pincers or boomerangers yeah. at you. It's a real pain. Mm. But not if I do this. Oh. See if we can climb up. Could work. Of course, um I have to be careful not to get uh, myself accidentally crushed. That has happened before. Mm. I always got hit by that guy before if I wasn't super. That guy's just designed just to run into them. In fact, all them, all the shell crackers basically are. Yeah. I can't climb that wall because of the cog. But yeah, interesting that they um, remade this zone essentially in Mad Gear Zone from Sonic 4. That was hmm. um, that was interesting. The trailer for Episode 2 was pretty interesting as well. Oh yes, I'm I'm quite looking forward to that. Let yes. me tell you, I'm looking forward to see how they handle tails in that game. That, 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 yeah, I saw them doing a, the team up attack. Looks pretty interesting. What they were doing. Oh yeah, it certainly does. Of course, new zones are always something to behold. Mm -hmm. Right, I hope I can make get to the end of this act before my superpower runs out. Should be able to. Should be right at the very top here. Crap. And we're done. Mm -hmm. That was right. lucky. Didn't have far to go. If you did a popularity poll in, in classic zones, it'd Probably wouldn't be surprising to find this one near the bottom because a lot of people speak of this, a lot of fans speak of this in the same revulsion they do with Labyrinth Zone. I think it's, yeah. I think it's just the enemy placement, to be honest. It is, it's the enemy placement, yes. Um, definitely. The Starfish ones are annoying, the, well, the Mantis ones are annoying as well. And, but yeah, pretty much. Labyrinth Zone as well can be also rated quite oh, sh low. If only because it's so slow, it really. It really does take forever. Yeah. Dick place spikes there. Mm -hmm. Of course, with this starfish, I can't just climb up the wall with regular knuckles, or I'll, get sh I'll just get shot right off. So I, have to yeah. so I have to play it safe, which is annoying. Now I can climb up. It's just something so very outlandish, isn't it? Having Knuckles climbing ability in Sonic 2. It is. It does break a lot of the game, to be honest. Oh yes, but it's fun, of it course. It is fun. I suppose it's like a payoff for what happens at the end. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. And it's not that That's far. Not, not that far to go now until that happens. Yeah, pretty much. Metropolis is what you'd consider probably the last major zone. Yeah. Or the last full zone. That wall's not climbable, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. But oh, yes. Get a passage. Oh, that's, that's nice. Um, I suppose since it's, um. That was cool. But yeah, to, to talk about the death exit before we actually get there, because yeah, by the time we get there, it's just two boss fights. It was actually supposed to be a far longer zone. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard. Hmm, well, they did kind of rectify that in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and it did get. 
they get they got upgraded to its own full zone. Yeah, it did. But yeah, originally in Sonic 2 it was supposed to be something longer. Well then Sonic 2 I think was supposed to be longer in general, you know, with all the hidden palace stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, what could have been could have been, but Sonic 2 is still a great game regardless, you know. Indeed. And Wing Fortress is cool, but we'll get to that shortly. Uh, Wing Fortress is actually bad for Super Sonic because. Um, oh yes, dear me. Pre uh, a lot of precise jumps and Super Sonic yeah. is not good at making <laughs> small precise jumps. Yeah, he's sort of all over the place, but Knuckles is Super yeah. Knuckles is fine. So he can just glide. I remember that. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, hopefully I can just kill Robot Knight before my wings run out, otherwise I'm gonna be completely screwed. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. This... Where are we? This boss, this boss. I'm not gonna do it. There's no way. No. Um. Oh you shit. Could. Oh. Oh! Um. That's why. All right. I, yeah, that was a thing. Knuckles' little jump doesn't. It really doesn't help in this fight. Yeah. Then again, it could be worse. <laughs> well, it will be worse. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But you know. So yeah, this boss. If, if you do take a hit, might as well just abuse your invincibility frames and repay the favour. But yeah, it's really hard to jump over this barrier, those knuckles. Yeah. So, I wouldn't be, don't be surprised if I end up losing a few lives here. Anyway, what we're supposed to do is just wait for him t to lower his guard, then hit him. Yep, that sounds about right. That's the plan, but... There's Knuckles. It's not the... Give me that ring. Yeah. Actually, did they, did they nerf this fight in the... Um, well, the version that Mecha Sonic uses in the next... Well, game. Mm, I think it's probably because of the Insta Shield. Yeah, Insta Shield does make that sight easier. And of course, if, still. of course, if you're going as Tails, he can just fly up and hit him. Mm -hmm. That's wait, wait. very much true. But yeah, speaking of alternate bosses, goodness, um, Tails got some pretty harsh treatment in Sonic 3 with Marble Gardens boss. Mm-hmm. 